After months of keeping Forrest Whitaker's role in Rogue One under wraps, Entertainment Weekly has informed us that the actor will be playing none other than Saw Gerrera. This revelation is actually a huge deal, because it's the first time we're going to see a character first introduced outside of the films make their way onto the big screen in the new canon. So, who was Saw Gerrera, and how will he be important to the story? Introduced in the fifth season of The Clone Wars, Saw and his sister Stila rebelled against the Separatist leaders on their home planet, Onderon. The Jedi sent Ahsoka Tano, Obi-Wan Kenobi, and Anakin Skywalker to help train the small group, so Saw took lessons from Darth Vader himself. They were able to push the Separatist occupation off of Onderon, but Stila was killed in the fight. Saw was shown to be somewhat stubborn, hot-tempered, and extreme. He took on the leadership role of his organization without a vote, and when his people chose to follow Stila instead, he was very displeased. His extremist views carried on into the Galactic Civil War. Thanks to mentions in both Star Wars Rebels and Claudia Gray's novel Bloodline, we not only know that Saw was a part of the rebellion against the Empire, but was also credited with some of the, quote, terrorist tactics of the Rebel Alliance, and the campaigns of Saw Gerrera's partisans are specifically mentioned. Now for some speculation on what we might see in the film itself. Assuming he continued rebelling as soon as the Empire took over, he'll have been fighting for nearly 20 years by the time of Rogue One. He's being described as a rebel, but not exactly a part of the Rebel Alliance. I could see him as kind of like a reluctant helper to our main heroes. He'll probably talk about how the Alliance is too soft to do what needs to be done, which is a theme that's already been brought up in the new comics. But ultimately, he'll see the Death Star as a major threat to the galaxy, and he's gonna help, despite a difference in philosophy. That's my guess anyway. But what does all of this mean for the future of Star Wars content? I think the inclusion of Saw Gerrera opens up a lot of doors for characters, events, and ships that have been introduced outside of the films. For example, rumors of Cad Bane's appearance in Rogue One have been floating around, and I think that this news makes that rumor much more likely. I love that Lucasfilm isn't afraid to include an established character in the new films, which, like it or not, will always drive the main Star Wars storylines. That's it for today. Please subscribe, like, and share to see new Star Wars videos every weekday. And if there's a specific Star Wars topic you'd like me to cover, leave it in the comments and I'll do an episode about it. As always, thank you for watching, and may the Force be with you.